Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another time to come back under your presence, God. It's bigger than us. I thank you, glory. I thank you for your power and your might, O oh Lord. I thank you that you're consuming, God, your people, your bond servants, God, with your energy and your power and your fire. Let your fire fall fresh on me, God. Hallelujah, like never before. Yes, O oh Lord, that you may get the glory, not me, God. Hallelujah, I pray that all people watching be healed, delivered, sanctified, set free. Yes, O oh Lord, I pray that you bring them towards repentance every day of the week. Hallelujah. If you got a chance to change, let us change, God. You're slow to come back with your indignation on these people, God, on us. None of us has, have made it, God. And I pray that the sound of my voice, that he or she that hears your word, let them hear what the Spirit has to say in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome back, brothers and sisters, kings and queens. Want to come back with that part two. Welcome back. It's bigger than us, part two. This is bigger than us. There is a major problem today with people putting people on pedestals. Why do we celebrate athletes? Why do we celebrate actors? Why? Does this generation celebrate the influencers and the leaders of our community, our so-called community? Why do they put these people on pedestals? They celebrate and praise athletes after a touchdown or a home run. They praise and celebrate the neighborhood dope boys or girls and gangsters when they see them making the news or when they see them pull up in a big body bends. They praise and worship actors and musicians, I'm sorry, not musicians, musicians, at these award shows. Why is it that they don't give an award to God? Why don't they celebrate Christ? They celebrate praise and worship pastors and teachers in churches, temples and schools, all over the world, we as bond servants were not called to seek the approval of no persons. Matthew 28, 8 through 9 says, but you do not be called rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ, and you are all brethren. Hallelujah. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. And do not be called teachers, for one, uh, for one is your teacher, the Christ, but he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whatever exalts, whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Hallelujah. If you want to be great in the body of Christ, you should learn how to be a servant. My title that I gave myself and what God gives us, I know there are titles, I know there are prophets and ministries and different teachers and this thing and that thing, but we must operate in our roles and our parts and gifts and talents. That's okay. But that's all to edify the greater good of the church and God. Jesus is not forbidding us to call men father who are such as literally our fathers, our biological fathers. He's not telling us not to call us, call them any, our father's father, our biological father's father. Jesus is talking about the position of power that the teachers of the law and the Pharisees and Sadducees took during his time. They wanted to be greater than the Messiah. They wanted to be greeted in the marketplace, they wore their best garments and they loved to be seated at the best seat, the seat of honor, the best places to be seated in front of everybody to be seen at banquets. Basically, they wanted people to praise, acknowledge and bow down and roll out the red carpet for them. Jesus told the crowd and his disciples 
not to be like these hypocrites and to give all the praise and all the honor to the Father in heaven and the Messiah, hallelujah, because it is bigger than us. God is the only one who should be getting the glory, not people, not yourself. We should be using these platforms like YouTube, Instagram, uh, whatever, Discord, uh, so many other Patreon. If we're disciples of Christ to win, to help win souls with God, to help bring the masses back, it's bigger than us. If you want to be great, humble yourself and serve. Serve the Lord. The way up is the way down. We ought to get out of God's way and not try to box him in. Hallelujah. We serve a God that is out of the box. Ephesians 3, 20 through 21 says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. For God to get the glory. Not for me, not for you, not for us. So that's what that passage was talking about. Not to put yourself on a pedestal because it's bigger than you. We realize when you realize when it's bigger than you, you realize when it's bigger than you, when you don't limit God. Hallelujah. You will trust his process even when you don't see the finish line. We must be led by the Holy Spirit and more submissive to his will in faith. When things fall apart around you, it's for you to fall in place and for God to get the glory. Are you going to trust them? Do you really trust him in the time of need? Do you really pray when you don't need things? Do you have a true relationship with Christ? God has his glory on the man and the woman who loves him, who seeks his heart. And there is nothing that can destroy them, that man or that woman. You can't curse what God has already blessed. I know now that it is bigger than me, just as Paul did. He stated in Philippians 8, I'm sorry, 3, 8 through 10. Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Hallelujah. And count them all rubbish that I may gain Christ. Verse 9 and be found in him, hallelujah, not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. I am here to tell you today, God is bigger than your problems. God is bigger than any disease or sickness. God is bigger than your past. God is bigger than demons or devils. God is bigger than the government and agencies. God is bigger than any form of entertainment or addiction. God is bigger than any sin. Hey, 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 listen to me. God is bigger than all that you may see or feel, your feelings. Yahweh is bigger. It ain't over until God says so. He has the final say, not man. Be still, let go, and let God be God. Hallelujah. The victory is his, and the battle is already won. Blessed is the man or woman that comes in the name of the Lord. It is for God to get the glory, not us. Don't get it twisted out there. 
brothers, sisters, kings, queens, leaders, especially leaders. You have to follow Christ in the spirit. We have to loose this flesh because we shall too get a heavenly body, an ancestral body. No, the devil is a liar. A celestial body. Hallelujah. And we know that Christ reigns in majesty. It is for him to get the glory, not us. Get your perspective on right. Know that Jesus is coming back. Repent and repent often and you will be saved. Hallelujah.